Today we're going to show you how to adjust the backstop on your self-adjusting gearbox's cam adjuster. This can be performed on all Mach 1s, 1100s, and 1600s that have self-adjusting gearboxes. To do this, all you'll need is a 7 64th inch hex key. Start by removing the worm box cam knob cover. It should just pop right off like so. Then you'll loosen each screw about a half turn. You're only loosening the screws just enough so that when you push the cam adjuster back and forth, it moves freely. Then, with slight pressure applied to the cam adjuster, you'll want to tighten up both screws slightly before releasing the pressure. Then you're going to tighten each screw until pushing on the hex key results in a little bit of a springing motion. It doesn't need to be any tighter than that. Now you can place your worm box cam knob cover back on and you're good to go. You'll know you did it right if you wiggle the gearbox assembly and it moves just a little. It's very slight and hard to capture on video, so we've shown it here on a 1600 for better contrast, but you only want it to move about 1 16th of an inch or so. If it moves more than 1 16th of an inch, you're going to want to go back and readjust it. As a final test, you'll want to disengage and re-engage your gears to ensure your cam adjuster has been properly adjusted. The cam knob should spring into place when it reaches the fully open position. You'll notice the cam knob does not rotate a full 180 degrees on this 1600. This is completely normal. The fully open position may have different placement on different mount models. Once the cam knob is in the fully open position and your gears are disengaged, the axis should move freely with absolutely no contact between the worm wheel and worm screw. Once you're done, the cam knob should move back into place and re-engage your gears easily. And that's it. Now you've adjusted the backstop on your self-adjusting gearbox's cam adjuster.